Okay, so we're back again with Dr. Nia Lay, and uh, we're talking insurance claims. So, uh, Nia, one of the things that that uh, you had mentioned to me that I'm learning, right, and, and uh, I think it's, it's valuable information for everybody that's listening, uh, is that one of the things that you have to deal with and have to see is the methods that they submit their claims, right? Um, and there's two, really two main methods. It's either submitted, you know, electronically through a couple of different vendors or it's submitted manually via a paper. And when it's submitted through the paper, you know, those, uh, any submissions have to be scanned. So if you can imagine, you know, down the line, it may be a photocopy of a photocopy and it's like a telephone game. By the time it gets to me, uh, I, you know, sometimes a lot of times those x-rays are diagnostic. I've received x-rays a lot of times where it's just completely black. I can't see the patient's name. I can't see the date of the x-ray. I can't even tell which tooth number is which. So it's really hard for me to uh, see what you're requesting when I, I don't even have diagnostic x-rays. Yeah, and I think that that like like you were you were tell, telling me, I think that uh, would you would a clinician try and diagnose something from the what you receive? Right? And I think that that's just that that's a really good point. And I think that 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 uh, if it's clear enough to diagnose, then it should be clear enough to evaluate for claim, right? Right, right. That should be the goal. You know, anytime, like it's like Kevin said, if you're a clinician, before you pull that tooth out, you know, you want to have diagnostic x-rays. And if those x-rays weren't diagnostic, diagnostic, excuse me, uh, my assistant would retake the x-rays. I would instruct her, please retake the x-rays. Um, so, you know, the, just be, you know, aware of the fact that while you may have great x-rays in your office and it may be clear to you, uh, by the time it gets to me, it may not be clear. So op optimal submission of x-rays is via electronically it is the easiest way um, and the preferred way that we would like the provider to submit but if that's not possible for you you know submitting paper is fine just be aware you know by the time that it gets to us sometimes they're not of diagnostic quality right diagnostic quality i think that's a great that's a great term so we're picking her brain about uh what what kind of qualities you want to submit your radiographs for uh, the best amount of success and right so diagnostic quality you know it, it as a clinician when i was in practice um you know training your assistants to be able to take diagnostic quality x-rays meaning that when they take these x-rays and you're asking you know for example you're doing a root canal on tooth number four and they take an x-ray where the apex is cut off well how do i know whether my gutta percha has reached to that bottom of the the apex and so that would render that x-ray non-diagnostic for me and i would request my assistant to please retake the x-ray so i you know want to tell the providers you know what kind of qualities do you would you like um so that you can render appropriate treatment for your patients hopefully hopefully that uh, helps you and um like we said we'll be back in, next time with a, another short segment another question for dr lay about insurance claim. thanks for watching we'll see you again